during your time as a uh, theater commander of Operation Hardinkai, we saw a deluge of Boko Haram fighters giving up their arms and embracing peace. Would you say that this is very largely responsible for the fact that we have made tremendous progress and we do not read about the kind of attacks that um, were very commonplace some years back. So true. Uh, I, I mean, it definitely. Um, by, by the time we started in July 2021, uh, it started like a joke. Just about 11 of them that came out and which also gave the confidence for others to come. By the time I left in January 2023, we had over 75,000 that have surrendered. As we speak, we have over almost, about 120. Out of this number, over 60,000 are children. And what the terrorists were actually doing was that they were developing a new generation of fighters that would have been more dangerous than the parents. And so we're happy and we're glad that they came out. And uh, I think it's this, uh, the cooperation and collaboration we had with everyone that made it uh, possible for them to come out. Because the state government too had to agree to us, bring them out, provided management and administration. And we uh, tried to uh, make sure all those ones are coming are prof properly profiled with the DSS, the police and everyone. So it was uh, a joint effort by everyone. And uh, I think it was the strategy that we adopted. One, carrying everybody along. Two, making it difficult for them to get the oxygen that keeps them going. That is funding, logistics and leadership. These are critical to their uh, operations. So when we made it difficult for them to get these things, and then the awareness through the media like we do, uh, that actually gave them the opportunity because a lot of them were told a lot of lies. They were told uh, that the government was out to kill them. Members of the armed forces will never receive them. Nobody will take them back until the first set that came out and saw how they were treated and how they were received. That encouraged the other ones to come out. And they now realize that uh, their commanders were only making money. Yes, initially when they started, it was basically ideology. But over time, it now became business. Uh, the leaders are making a hell lot of money, uh, collecting taxes, doing kidnapping, selling fish, and all this stuff. So when these other ones realized that they were being lied to, they decided to also come out when the pressure was much. The, there is a facility in Gombe where these um, insurgents who had decided to embrace peace uh, looked after, uh, reoriented. But many Nigerians don't appear to be happy as the attention being given to people who had killed so many people in the past. How is the army and um, the state government of Borno especially trying to balance things in a way that does not suggest that those killers are getting more attention than even the victims. Yeah, okay. It's, 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 it's always been um, um, a, a place of concern because most citizens have actually raised observation regards to that. But one thing I want to assure them is that, yes, uh, those ones we're bringing out have been profiled. Uh, and there will be a Truth and Reconciliation Committee. Legal aspect is ongoing as we speak. The Attorney General of Police is in charge, uh, Attorney General of the Federation is in charge of uh, profile, uh, of investigating uh, those that have committed heinous crimes and they will not go unpunished. That is for real. Uh, so what we are doing is that we, as we have a way of sorting them out. Those that were really combatants, those, you know, a lot of them were also uh, just um, conscripted against their own will, made to look like slaves, were being used for farming and all other ones. Some of them were forced because you know, during that time, when they, when, they cap when they attack a village, they capture everybody and all the meals are made to fight. Whether you like it or not, if you refuse, they behead you. And then the women are enslaved and used as, uh, uh, as slaves, all true, sex slaves. Uh, so I want Nigerians to understand that, yes, people have offended, but, I mean, we all uh, know that God has told us that uh, we should learn to forgive. Because without forgiveness, when we keep bitterness, it eats us up also. So it is important. Some of them didn't really know what was happening until it was later when they saw the awareness that, been, that they now came out. So it's not everybody that is going to be free. We assure them that the uh, federal government is not letting everybody free. Where uh, The attorney general is sorting them out. Trials are to be, to be, will commence very soon. 
And so I can assure Nigerians that it's not just for them to go back and continue. And whatever it is we're doing, we're also carrying the victims along. Because it's important, part of the success of the DDR program is reintegration back to the communities. So if the communities are not willing to accept those ones, then that will be a problem. And that's why the government, both at the state and federal, are working uh, assiduously to ensure that uh, we get it right. And then they come back fully and let Nigeria be peaceful.